Hello, Crash here, and it looks like you're sick of just streaming from your PlayStation 4, and you want to use some broadcast software so you can add overlays and alerts and all kinds of flashy effects. Well, you're in luck. I have a solution that only requires free software and just a little bit of time to set it up. Very easy. So, first thing you want to do is you want to download the Remote Play app for your computer. Now, this works on Windows and Mac, so that is freaking awesome. So go ahead and open it up, but wait right here. The next thing you want to do is you want to turn on your PlayStation and log in. Because if you're not logged in with your account, you can't connect to your PlayStation. Now, you want your computer and your PlayStation both to be hardwired to the same network. This is really important, otherwise you're going to get all kinds of artifacts and connection issues. So now that you're logged in, it's time to go back to your computer and finish the setup. Now using a USB cable, plug your DualShock 4 into your computer. Now press the options button to connect to your PlayStation 4. You may have to go through a settings menu, I've already set this up. So here we go, we have a window with our PlayStation 4 right on here. So let's open up OBS and we're going to add this window right into it. So have a scene, add a new source, window capture, call it whatever you like, I call this one PS4. Select the window and find the one that is PS4 Remote Play. There you go, you've added it to OBS. Now rescale it. But make the width match, not the height, because you have to slide the title bar up. Adjust it up and down, use the keys to move it up and down to get it just perfect. And there you go. Your PlayStation is now in OBS without any hardware, but you can see that we don't have any audio if we're on a Mac. If we're on Windows, we just use desktop audio. For a Mac, we're going to download I Show You Audio Capture link in the description. Once you get this downloaded and installed, go ahead and change your audio output to the I Show You Audio Capture. Now you want to go into OBS Settings. Go to Audio and go Mic Auxiliary Device 2 and change that to the I Show You Audio Capture. If you're on Mac, if you're on PC, you want to go into Desktop Audio and select that, whatever your output device is there. And now we can add overlays and other graphics, whatever else you want, alerts. We're going to go ahead and take an existing overlay that I already have. We're going to put it on here. So you can see, now we have the PlayStation output and we have our overlays, everything else we need, and we don't need a capture card. But wait, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You have to make sure that you have a very fast hardwired connection between your computer and your PlayStation to ensure that you don't get pixelation in the Remote Play app. Also, your quality is not going to be quite as good as if you use a capture device, but then again, you're not going out buying extra hardware. So this is a really good, easy workaround. The other downside is you will have a very slight amount of input lag on your controller. To help combat the input lag and to raise the quality if you want, you can change that around before you start Remote Play, right in the Remote Play app. Now you can go all the way up to 1080p and you can go to high frame rate, 60 frames per second, but lots of time on Twitch you're not going to be broadcasting at those high frame rates and 1080p. Make sure that you're not overdoing it on OBS, like if you're setting it to standard, don't set OBS output to 60 frames per second because you're only capturing at 30. You're wasting 30 frames per second basically, and you'll be able to get some better quality out if you keep your frame rate the same in OBS as your remote play output. So what do you think? Are you going to give it a shot or are you just going to go out and buy a capture card? There are some really good deals on them, but like I said, this works in the meantime. If this video made you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, go ahead and show that like button some love. Thanks for watching, and always remember, the key to happiness is f***ing.